Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I am back with a haul from Daiso. So I have this cubby that I just put up on my wall and it has six little sections and I was looking for something to put in them and whenever I'm doing something like that I always go to the Daiso website and look at all their containers to see if there's anything the size that I need. So I saw this on their website so then I went to the store <laughs> to pick it up. So this is called a partitioned case and it is um, 3.4 inches wide, 4.4, I'm sorry, 4.4 inches wide, 3.4 inches deep, and then 4 inches high. So this was actually perfect for the cubby. Um, so I picked up six of them. So it comes with these dividers, but I don't need these dividers. But I held on to all of them because they're beautiful acrylic little pieces. In my mind, I'm looking at pages from a journal or something. So um, I did keep the dividers, but not in the um, in the in this case. And then this is what I did with it. So I added a pole that matches a lot of other poles that I have um, in storage pieces like this drawer. So I used the same pole. I bought these poles on Amazon. I think it was a either a case of either 20 or 24. And so I still had some left over so I put them on here and I attached them with brads. And then on the inside I just hot glue, I put hot glue over the the ends of the brad and it holds six bottles of paint or in this case glitterific so I only have I think like 10 bottles of glitterific so I needed two for that and then the other ones I'll will put paint in them but I love it and it's perfect for what I needed so that's that and then so of course while I'm in the store I'm gonna like look up look at other things that they have and this was really cute this is called a masking tape case so this is for washi tape I love the size of it I think it's um, actually nice to use for gifting goodies or even putting washi tape in I'm not sure I have some other smaller cases that I have washi tape in for like my Bible journaling stuff um, but I did pick this up and I only got one I don't know how many rolls fit in here but I guess it depends on the width of the rolls but it opens like this and then the, the drawer pulls out kind of like something that uh, the Dollar Tree has but it's for pencils and it's a lot flatter but so cute so you can definitely alter this or you know use it for what it's intended so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet um, I saw this ice cream a uh, chocolate mold super super cute so of course I'm gonna use this with resin or either try the hot glue thing um, uh, yeah so love 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 that so only a dollar fifty and then I saw these, and these I bought for home decor stuff. So these are tiny little risers. They call them display stands, but all I see is a riser. And it's a it's clear acrylic. Um, so it, it looks like it's about 2 inches high. Um, the size is in millimeters, so forget that. <laughs> I cannot tell you how, what size. Well, here, let's see. Um... It's about five and three quarter inches wide, so it'll be the same all the way around. So that's a round one, and then I got this rectangular one. So of course, you, that's here's the picture. So cute. So you can definitely use it on in your craft room to like put things, to elevate things, or like I said, I got mine for home decor stuff. Um, and you can't go to Daiso without looking at the bags. I try to stay away, but. <laughs> I end, always end up coming out with a couple. So these were so cute because they look like little jars. And then it says, enjoy it all. May you be always surrounded with happy smiles. But I love the pink tops. And there's eight bags in there. And then I got this one that says, that's delicious. And same thing, but the top is striped. There's eight pieces in that one as well. 
and then this one says fully in bloom and I got some similar to this but they had I think they had brown tassels on the other bags that I got the last time but I love these tassels so I got this one with this this color tassel and there's five bags in here so they're white stripes and then clear so yeah so those are really pretty too um and then I saw this little Hello, Hello Kitty pouch. I just love the flowers. And it says Hello Kitty on it. So I picked that up. And then I thought these were interesting. And I'm going to try to figure out what to do with them. Or how to use them in projects. I thought they would make like maybe some kind of cute little charm or dangle or something. But these are glass like um, tiny little glass charms. So it looks like they're half inch square. And these are in black and clear or black and white. And then this one, so I only got two packs. This one are in different shades of blue. So really cute. So let's see what I end up doing with those. And then I use these in my kitchen. So these are just two trays. Um, and they, they are exactly the same. They had some, they had one that was a black background with white writing and it was the same type of theme. But it did have the same like wording on it but yeah so i picked those up and let me see what else um <clears throat> i always this is not craft related but i always get these for the washing machine i really like them so i got another pack these are little pin cushions so I picked these up. Um, I wish they had them in another color. Um, but these are easily alterable. You know, you could cover it with laces or whatever. Or use it to attach to the top of a jar. Because it's already pretty much made. But you get two for $1.50. So that's really cool. And then I picked these up because I... I um, they used to have these at Michael's. But I think they were just a two-pack for $1.99 or something like that. So... Um, and I hadn't seen the, them in clear in a little while. So I picked these up. There are three in here for um, $1.50. I think the most of the stuff that I got was $1.50. So if you haven't been to Daiso in a while, there are some things. And if I see that I did get anything, I'll be sure to point it out. But there are some things that are more than $1.50. Or more things now that are not $1.50. Before, there, wouldn't, there wasn't that many things that were more than a dollar fifty but now there are um so to go along with the mold i picked up these white glue sticks so there's 24 pieces in here so i'm going to try that with that and then i always look at the storage bags for sizes that i don't have so this one is um six six point six inches by nine point four inches i wish they had one that was they I wanted one that was closer to like a 12 by 12 paper size they have one but it's like way bigger it's the, I think it's like um there it's a pack and I think there's five in the pack but it's like uh I don't know it's huge it's way bigger than 12 by 12 and so I, I don't get it because it's too big but anyway um I picked these up I thought these would be cute or something different to use actually in my craft room while I'm doing projects so there's 25 bags in here and they're little they call them garbage bags so you sit them up sorry for the noise and I guess they're meant to be used in the sink because they do have holes in them um, oh that's the bottom And they have little holes. You can see the little holes in the bottom. If the holes aren't big enough for your scrap, you know, your trash while you're crafting to pop, come out. So it's just a little bag like that that you would sit, I guess, in your sink or on your desk while you're crafting. And then throw your trash in. And then when you're done, you just throw this whole thing away. So I thought I'd give it a try. They were only $25. They are only $1.50 for 25 pieces. So we'll see how that works. Um, I got more of 
these cases. This is the one that I got the last time and I put my number beads in it. So you can see this is, there's 10 of these um, sections in this particular case and they open up individually. I wish they had them longer, but they don't. But they do have them with larger sections. So this is one that I also picked up last time. This has six sections in it. So I picked up two of those. And then this one has four. So this has four sections. And they're obviously larger than the six and also the five. So I picked up those. And not much more. Marissa had shown these in her video and I thought they were so adorable and they're plastic. That's what I really like because they look like glass but they're plastic. So I'm planning on painting the top um, with some pink spray paint and they only had one of the clear and then they had one of the blue. So I'm going to paint both of them pink on the top so they'll match my room better but those are so cute. Um, okay, and then I got this cute little sewing kit, really cute. I got a measuring tape, and then they had, they had these pen holders, which are, to are really different, and I got them obviously to use on my um, journals and my TNs but I only got two I got one in black and then the silver one and my thing is normally you would put it in like on a on a page in your TN you would put it sideways and then hang the pen down that way but these are meant to go top down so I don't know how that's gonna work <laughs> So that's why I didn't get more than one, but it's a good deal. It's a really good deal. Um, so I picked up again the silver and the black. And not much more. Oh, I picked up these Hello Kitty bags. I think Marissa had these too. So I picked those up. And then I picked up this mini letter kit. So I love these and I always pick them up when I see cute patterns to use in my journals and stuff. So this has this really pretty um, cherry blossom paper and then vellum envelopes. Adorable. So you get, does it say how many? You get, um, I think it's 12 sets in here. So cute. Um, and then I also got the sticky notes to go with them. Oh, I picked up these needle threaders and some st a sticky note pad. This is going to work because I use sticky notes a lot at work. And I love that it's in a little book. This is adorable. This is a cute DIY for those of you that want to use. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't open it that want to use like your um, your cinch so look how cute that is it's a little tiny book and then inside are page flags and post-it notes so cute so cute so I picked that up and let me see I have this little set I'm looking for the rest of it oh I only got two pieces um, I picked these cute little sauce jars up, but not for sauces. I got them to use for um, sequins. And you can always put a little clip on the top and then hang it on a dangle. But look how cute those are. Little gems. So I picked those up. I picked up this clear washi tape. And I thought it was clear or like a frosted color. And these are good for Bible journaling if you want to insert another page into your Bible. Or your journal you can tape it in um, but it actually has this pattern on it so really cute so I got that and they had other ones with other patterns that were this frosted color too but I only got that one and then I picked up this set of um, sticker flakes and sticky notes 
but it's like a jewel or makeup themed so so cute and then the last thing that I got was another um, a4 plastic pocket this is something that I use to store my digitals in so I am always picking these up and I just bought a bunch of digitals from my porch prints and also from Arala Miha so I needed another binder um, so I went specifically looking for two things and I guess I'll show you the first one I was looking for um, the white glue sticks so I have these I have purchased these before I have used them and they also have black so I bought two packs of the of the white and I believe I got two packs of the black and let me show you what I used the what I have used the white ones on so these are some molds that I have this one I think came from Daiso um, also and then these are Prima molds for um, two of the different um, collections by Frank Garcia so I used these molds and the white glue sticks and these are what I made so here's this cute little cherub so I did it twice the first one didn't come out that cute there's like little dimples here but here's the second one so what I was doing is I wasn't filling the mold all the way with the hot glue I was kind of trying to make it a little shallow but when I did that the mold didn't form correctly all the way so I just filled it all the way and it came out so much cuter and um, the scissors are right here on this mold and this is how that this is the first one that I did and it came out so much better except for the little finger holes um, and then this one came out better as far as these parts because I was made paying more attention but I think I overfilled it because then you can see like part of the parts that should have been open were filled in but they're both still very very cute and I will definitely use those on some projects so this is just regular glue it's just white so you can still paint these or you know do other things with them if you want to here are um, here's the bow from this mold so that came out really really cute and then these are some of the buttons from this mold here Again, when I underfilled the mold, the piece didn't come out that great. But then when I put, you know, when I filled it all the way to the rim, they came out so much better. So those are the different buttons. And then um, I did these um, while I was at Frank's studio one day. And um, one of the ladies there had a Cameo um, wax seal stamp. So I used that on the hot glue and it came out really cute but the detail is kind of lost. Um, the detail came out so much better when you just use wax like wa the sealing wax but it still came out cute with, um, with the hot glue. And then this, this mold here with the ice cream cones or ice creams and ice cream cones these are all of those that I made. And they just came out so stinking cute. So cute. So I could paint these if I wanted to. I can add a um, eye pin to the top. Or um, not an eye pin. A screw eye to the top. Or I could put one of those um, plastic bales. Glue one of those on. But they came out really cute. Really, really cute. So again, that's the white glue sticks from Daiso. And then I bought some black ones. There's an IOD mold that I have of some different locks and stuff or um, keyholes that I want to use the black one on and then paint them to make those very, very distressed. So that was the first thing that I went to Daiso looking for. And so I was super happy that they had it. And I almost left. <laughs> I almost left without getting them. Um okay and then the other thing I was looking for some little storage pieces that I could put inside of um, 
of another storage piece to give you know to be dividers in that and um, I'll show you what I'm kind of talking about uh, bear with me so this is a drawer from an acrylic um, drawer set that I have that I got from the 99 cent only store they have them it's a two-tiered um, or two drawer acrylic piece and they sell them for $3.99 so this is all of my Tim Holtz not all of them but <laughs> I have been reorganizing my Tim Holtz metal charms and, and jewelry pieces so um, I took one of the drawers and then this is the um, the um, the embellishment boxes that we get from Dollar Tree out of the tool section I just cut the lid off and then they fit very nicely in here and I can stack two in each drawer and it gives me some really nice dividers but I was looking for something else that I could use instead and so I um, I knew this would fit that it wouldn't be too big but I wasn't sure about the width or the depth of this box and it actually doesn't work it leaves too much space open that's not divided so I wouldn't use that and I only got one because I wasn't sure and I didn't take all the measurements with me for this particular drawer so I will leave them the way that I have them which is um, really cool because it gives me some dividing some you know some divide some dividers in the drawer so that everything's not just not in the drawer <laughs> I needed to be a little bit I needed to be separated and and organized but I like that I can get two of those in each drawer and organize those so um, I always go to Daiso when I'm looking for specific small storage so that's why I went Okay, and then while I was there, I got some other stuff, <laughs> of course. So they had this really pretty gingham paper pad, and you get 100 pa pieces of paper. So this is the paper that they use, I think, for origami. Um, so it's not really, like, thick. It's not, like, 65 pound. It's just regular, like, scrapbook paper, and it's only um, single-sided. But look at all the different colors that are the, in the package. And you do get 100 pieces. So I picked that up. Because you can always back it with 110 pound cardstock. Um, I picked up some shrink plastic. So this is one that you can actually put through your printer. And I think somewhere on here it says uh, print. I don't know. Maybe it's on the back. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I was watching a video by Gina who is Scrapinology where she showed that she had um, printed some Maggie Holmes digitals on shrink plastic and then made a charm out of it. And I thought that was an awesome idea. So I wanted to give that a try. So I picked that up when I saw it. <clears throat> I picked up one of these really beautiful laces. So this is a 1.3 yard piece. Okay, and then they had these super cute little Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse earrings, but I got them to use the pieces as charms, so those are super cute. Um, these are some really cute envelope vellum envelopes um, with a little snowman on it, so I got these to use during Christmas for a Christmas project. And then this, these are hairpins, but I love the little dangling hearts. I'll probably use those in my planner. And then I just got these little marking pins. <clears throat> and then this is actually a repurchase of a different color, but I use these for my um, for my glasses. So that's so cute. And then this is another little envelope, but I love the little sweet treat theme on it. And you get five um, envelopes in the package. And then they had this pack, and I only saw one of these, of these acrylic um, little bows in different colors, different sizes. So cute. And you can see some have little stripes, and some have polka dots, but they're all sheer. So I got those. 
<clears throat> and then I found some new well they have a new pattern of an old favorite <laughs> so I have these all over my craft room I just love this pattern the one that I have is more Parisian uh, let me pull one <clears throat> So this is the original one, and it's full of um, dry adhesive. So this is the original one, and it has this um, Parisian pattern on it. So cute. So I guess they remade them, and they're this pattern now. Ah, just so gorgeous. Same exact color, same height, same... Everything's the same as far as the depth and the width and the measurements and all of that. Um but it's a, just a different pattern so i picked up they had white and pink so i picked up the only three pink ones that they had um because like i said i use these all over my room um <clears throat> and then they had these which is the letter tray and i only got one of these because I'm not sure I got these to use on my um, to help like organize and store my TNs um, these were three dollars so that means three dollars <laughs> so there are things at Daiso that are not that are higher than a dollar fifty and you'll see signs like this or with a higher number on it and that means that's the price but uh, and it, it's not a dollar fifty, so I didn't care because it's a really, really good size. This is um, uh, thirteen by nine point four by three point six. So yeah, so I got this to organize my TNs on my Calyx unit. So super happy to see that beautiful pattern because it's. I haven't seen the pink ones in a really, really long time. Every once in a while, I'll see the white ones, but I haven't seen those in a um, in a while either. And I think they came out with gray, but I don't use gray in my craft room. So, um, happy to see the pink ones again. And this is a repurchase. I really, really love these bags. So, this is a five-pack, and this cover part is sheer like a pretty white lace on a um, clear background and the back is pink so they're a good size to use for happy mail and stuff so I got that <clears throat> um, I picked up some magnetic sheets that I use with my dies so I picked up three packs of those and only a couple more things oh yes two more things and this is another repurchase. These are the mini attache cases. And I haven't seen these in a while either. So I picked up one pack and it has two boxes inside. Oh, and then here's the other pack of the black glue sticks. So that's it for my second run. Um, I wasn't looking, like I said, I was went looking for specific things. So, And I had already gone like a couple of weeks before that. So I didn't really um, see a lot of things that were new that I hadn't seen before so that is my part one and part two of my Daiso haul <laughs> so thank you so much everybody for watching I hope you're all having a really great day bye